my get up. <laughs> It's fall and it's really being felt in the air. It's very cold, sort of humid, and not the best temperature to be working outside. But as soon as we start moving and everything, we'll start warming up. I've heard a story, I've heard it said. I've come to believe that love is a bet. Sometimes you win it, sometimes you lose it. Sometimes it calls you right in the room Come to my table, come to my bed Go easy my hunger, easy my head <laughs> Bringing me fire, bringing me water Taking me high, taking me down this may come to a surprise to a few of you guys, but fall is not my favorite season. It is cold! And we've been taking advantage of the really cold rainy days to be working inside on the walls like you saw in my last video. we I do have a whole bunch of drywall in my entranceway taking all this space, but when it's nice out you have to let this go and go outside. So this morning, Ben proposed to uh, do like two tasks in the day. So he's like, hey, do you want to come help me mill? And then I'll help you go harvest some potatoes. And then we pin up the trailer and we have a flat tire and the valve is broken. So we have to remove the tire and do that first thing. Seems like we're always changing tires. <laughs> uh, yeah. And yeah, we do that a lot. We do that way too much. It would not make me happy to do this, but we would save a lot if we had a tire machine. Yeah. That is so true. I think your dad has one though, right? Yeah. But he lives a little far away. Ben finally got around to finish the drywall in our room. And so now it's my turn. I have to plaster all this. Fun, fun. You know what sucks about drywall is that it makes, so, it makes such a mess. The mud when it dries and it sets and you have to come back and sand it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be white after the next, in the next three days. This is going to be my job. I have a few hours a day to do on here, let everything dry and then come back. In between everything else that I have to do in the gardens, the bees, the horses, there's, it's going to be a big weekend once again here at Quebec Homestead. Fun fact, before going out with Ben, I actually went out with a guy who did drywall and plaster work. So I sort of, have a little bit of knowledge on how to do it. I did the girls' rooms. I did like every time there's drywall or um, plaster to do in the house, it's always my job. Ben cannot stand it, and I don't think he would do a very good job at it, honest, to be honest. It's not for everyone. So I got my tools. I am going to get my plaster bucket, my drill. See, I already have all the tools that I have from my last construction. And uh, I'm gonna get to it. The reason why we are doing our bedroom here instead of in the other room is because that room is just way too big for our needs. And me being a YouTube creator, and I need that space to do a YouTube studio. So I'm gonna start with this room here, which was the playroom for the kids. And the next, like my bedroom is gonna be transformed into two rooms, which is going to be like a multi room with plants growing and stuff because Ben has like a newfound passion for exotic plants and I have a little corner where I'm going to do my studio as well and eventually in the kids rooms we want to build these sort of two-story beds so they can sleep on top of their play area homework area on the bottom there and you know they're probably going to have a lot of playroom space in that room too because it is huge I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know if we're going to get it all done this winter, but 
I have I have high hopes for it. <laughs> oh yes. Mud. This is gonna be fun while filming. Oh my gosh. Respect to you drywallers filming because I feel like my camera's gonna get really dirty now. There's something really satisfying about painting a wall that you fully finished, installed, and drywalled. It is a lot of work. It's like a good three to four days of work because you have to apply it, let it dry, sand it, apply, take it off, apply it, let it take it off. It's, it's a lot of work to do the drywall. And it's a very dirty job. As you can see, my floor is just, 
it's just really really dirty but now it's almost all painted I got one coat here done I need to get another coat on it and then I have my corridor that I have to do as well and man I just I'm just so proud of the work that I did drywall is finished thank goodness and then I'll be able to get all my stuff into my room and then start on my studio 